Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Luna, a creative soul passionate about fashion, art, sewing, history, and everything beautiful that surrounds me. I would like to take you on my journey of sewing our own clothes and sharing my knowledge with you. Today I would like to show you how to make this beautiful dress. Her name is Umbriel, named after one of the Uranus moons and it is the first in the many moons to come through my pattern. I have created, constructed and designed this pattern myself. The size range is from 32 to 52 EU and from 0 to 20 US. It is a very versatile pattern with four options available, two different dresses and two different tops, and you can get creative and do a lot more. The pattern comes with written instructions as well and other helpful materials. More information you will find in the description below alongside with the pattern available for purchase. After you have downloaded the digital pattern, open the PDF file using Adobe Acrobat Reader. It is free to download. You need to have this program in order to be able to select only your size for printing. Once you have opened the PDF, Click on the tab Layers. In here you will find all the sizes selected. Each size comes with two layers, one for the actual size and one for the seam allowance which is 1 cm. I recommend you to print the size with the seam allowance. Uncheck all the sizes except for the one that you wish to print and the text layer. Do not uncheck the text layer because this layer contains the information and guidelines for assembling the pattern. After you select your layers, click Print. In this menu, select your printer. After that, in the Page Sizing and Handling section, select Custom Size 100%. It is important to select it in order for the pattern to be printed correctly. Now you are good to go, click print and your pattern is on your way. Here are the printed pages with the umbriel pattern. On the pattern you will find a chart with the correspondent lines for each size, a test square to check if the pattern is printed on full size and also cutting instructions for each pattern piece. I have here the front part as an example in order to show you how to assemble the pattern. As you can see, the pages are numbered and each intersection of pages has a half circle with a number and a letter on it. Start by cutting or folding the pages at the bottom and at one side. After you cut the pages, start to patch them with the guidance of the circles and then tape them. You have all the information regarding the placement and cutting instructions for each pattern piece written on them. And you can also find a detailed guide on the PDF file with the written instructions for the umbriel pattern. Finally, cut each pattern piece carefully and after that your pattern is ready to be used. I have here all the necessary things you are going to use for making the dress. The main fabric, which in this case is a thin viscose, but you are welcome to use another type of fabric because this pattern can be made out of both thin and thick fabrics. Just make sure that you are going to interface it if your fabric requires. I will do so in this case. Next, the lining, elastic, interfacing, tools, invisible zipper and of course the pattern which you will find linked in the description below.
for this dress, I chose to make a short sleeve. So I measured the desired length of my sleeve, trace a new bottom edge and cut the paper. Don't worry, after you finish, you can easily tape the pattern back. make the circle skirt. I will make here a skirt with half fullness, 180 degrees. In the PDF file attached to the digital pattern, you will find a chart with the measurements for the radius corresponding to each size with seam allowance, which you are going to use for making the skirt. For example, I have here a radius of 21.5 including seam allowance. Fold the fabric in half, forming a square big enough to fit your desired length of the skirt plus the radius measure. Take the measurements of the radius corresponding to the size that you've chose to make and measure it on the corner as shown. After you measure along the fabric, trace the line with a piece of chalk. This will be your waistline. If you decided on the length of the skirt, for example I have here 50 cm, start to measure from the waistline, 50 cm in my case, down across the fabric like shown. Once you've finished marking it, cut the waistline and the bottom line. In order to make the ruffle, measure the bottom line of the skirt and depending on how gathered you would like your ruffle to be, multiply by at least 1.5 times. I chose the width of my ruffle to be 10 cm with seam allowance. Feel free to choose whatever width you like. Now let's stitch the darts. In previous videos for this pattern I showed you how to trace the darts on the fabric. I will link the videos in the description below. Here is how I'm stitching the darts. Start stitching by using a medium stitch length and when you are approximately 2 cm away from the top of the dart, change the stitch length to the smallest your machine has. Stitch until the end, but do not back stitch. Leave a longer thread and make a knot at the end to secure the dart. This method helps your dart to lay better. Do the same for all the darts for both the main fabric and the lining.
after you finish stitching all the darts, press them towards the center. Do this for the front piece and the back pieces. Press them carefully, firstly on the wrong side of the fabric and then on the right side of the fabric. Repeat these steps for the lining as well. Time to assemble the bodies. Place the front piece with right side up. On it, place the back pieces with right side down. Right sides facing each other. Pin them together in place. After you pin the side seams, pin the shoulder seams as well. Stitch the shoulder seams and the side seams with 1 cm of seam allowance. Repeat the same steps for the lining. After your seams are ready, press them really well on both the wrong and the good side of the fabric for both the main fabric and the lining. Attach the skirt to the bodies. Unfold the bodies with right side up and place on it the circle skirt with right side down. Right sides facing each other. Start to match and pin them together from one end to another. At the edges, in order for the back seam of the dress to be perfectly aligned, you need to place a small corner of the back bodies outside and on top of the skirt like I'm showing you here. Stitch them together with 1 cm of seam allowance. Before pressing the seam, make small cuts into the seam along the curvier parts. In this way, you will help the fabric lay better. Press on both the wrong and the good side of the fabric. With the longest stitch length on your sewing machine, stitch the ruffle with half of centimeter seam allowance from the edge. Start to gather the ruffle in order to fit the skirt. Pin the ruffle to the skirt with the right sides facing each other. Stitch them together with 1 cm of seam allowance and then press the seam.
Now let's make the back seam. Place the skirt parts with white sides facing each other and stitch from the bottom until the zipper mark. Time to install the invisible zipper. This is the method that I use, but if you feel more comfortable doing it in another way, please do so. Place the dress on the table with right side up and on it the zipper with right side down. Place the left part of the zipper on the right part of the dress. Leave 1 cm of the zipper tape outside, depending on the zipper format it can be different. Pin the rest of the zipper to the back part of the dress. Start to stitch the zipper with a normal sewing foot until the back seam. This is my way of doing it without basting. After you stitch one side, it's time to stitch the other one. Turn the dress inside out. Pin the zipper tail to the back seam 2 cm below the point where the back seam starts. Next, mark the waistline on the zipper tape and start to pin the zipper to the back of the dress with right sides together and paying attention to match the waist. Stitch it until you reach the back seam. Next, turn the dress with right side out, open the zipper and insert the zipper slider between those 2 cm gap we left earlier, between the back seam and the pin.
After that, put on an invisible zipper foot and start to stitch carefully until you reach the back seam. Do the same for the both sides of the zipper. Now, release the zipper slider through the hole and close the zipper. Check if everything is ok. Hand stitch the zipper tail on the back seam allowance to secure it in place. Press the zipper. Time to attach the lining to the main fabric. Open the dress and place it with right side up. On it, place the lining open with right side down. Start to match and pin the lining to the main fabric, working your way from one part to another. Stitch them carefully with 1 cm of seam allowance. Before you press the seam, again make small cuts along the curvier parts, then press it on the good side and the wrong side of the fabric. The next step is to make the understitch. This will help the lining to lay better, stay inside and not roll outside. Get the lining out, place it open, turn the seam allowance under the lining. Start to stitch on the good side of the lining 2 mm from the edge, making sure to place the seam allowance under the lining while stitching. Now let's attach the lining to the zipper tape. Open the zipper and turn the dress inside out. Grab the lining along with the zipper tape and flip it over. After you flipped it, you can pin it in place and start to stitch it by using a zipper foot or positioning your needle close to the edge.
at the corners and press the seam. Turn the dress and make the corners as sharp as possible. Stitch the lining to the main fabric at the waistline. Now let's make the sleeves. Here is how I did them. I have made a 5 cm hem for the sleeves. I will stitch two seams that will make the channel for the elastic. The first stitch is 1 cm away from the edge of the hem and the other one is 2 cm away from the edge of the hem. After doing the stitches, insert the elastic using a safety pin. Make the gathering stitch between the marks on the pattern using the longest stitch length on your sewing machine. You can make a single stitch or a double stitch. For this fabric, I prefer to make a single stitch. Backstitch at the beginning but not at the end, leaving the thread longer so you can pull the thread to adjust to the armhole. Using a safety pin, insert the elastic through the channel prior made by the two seams. Secure the elastic with pins at both ends. Once the elastic is inserted and secured, stitch the seam of the sleeve with 1 cm of seam allowance. The last step is to attach the sleeve to the dress. Turn the dress inside out and insert the sleeve through the armhole with right sides facing each other. First, match the side seam of the top with the seam of the sleeve and after that start to match and pin the rest of the sleeve to the armhole, adjusting the gathering in order for the sleeve to match the armhole. After you secure it, stitch them together and repeat the steps for the other sleeve. Next, gently press the sleeve, but avoid the gathered part. You can overlock or zigzag stitch the seam. And here it is, your finished umbrial dress. Thank you very much for watching until now, and if you consider purchasing my pattern, I would like you to know that I appreciate it, and I thank you very much for supporting my small business. It means the world to me. Have a magical day. Until next time. With love, Luna.